This is the Soco Falls parking area. Right here off of uh, US 19, going into Cherokee, easy to miss. Expected it to be a bigger parking area. I don't know if I've been to this one. No, I've been to Mingo Falls, but. Do a little hike here on the Mountains of Sea Trail at Soco Gap. It's a beautiful day. And I'm gonna check it out, reconnoiter it for some backpacking. So that when I come back here, I could uh, do an overnight, knock out this section. I'm just doing uh, four miles out and back to Water Rock Knob, the parking area for Water Rock Knob. And then I'm gonna come back and uh, knock it out. As you can see, the trail is quite lovely in this section. It's moved under the dark canopy of the forest. There's power lines right there. That's the only thing I don't like. Beautiful setting otherwise. So one of the reasons I wanted to come out here and do the Mountains of Sea Trail in this section is in the hopes of finding the situation with campsites, whether or not the app has it wrong, because sometimes it won't show any campsites in a given section and you'll find one. So I don't see any campsites on the app between Mingus Mill and the Smokies and Water Rock Knob. So I want to check it out for myself and see what the situation is like. I've, if you remember last year, I did two sections. I did the Mountains of Sea and most of the Smokies um, from Mingus Mill to Klingman's Dome on an overnight. And I did two nights on the Mountains of Sea from Balsam Gap or the Orchard area near Balsam Gap to um, US 276 and the parkway. So I wanted to check it out. And I'll also be knocking out more of the trail this way too. I really wanna backpack more of it. And I wanna complete the mountain section of the mountains to see. That's what I'm interested in. That's why I, why I downloaded the mountain section as a guide to know what to look for. As far as campsites and water sources, it's kind of uh, you know indispensable to have something like that. Well, so far this section's pretty easy. It's pretty flat. A couple steps to ascend back there, but one bed. Only saw one other individual with a dog so far. Um, the only bad thing about the Mountains of Sea Trail, though, if you've never hiked a portion of it, 
is you're never in the deep wilderness um, unless you're in Middle Prong or Linville Gorge, places like that. You're always near the Blue Ridge Parkway or a short distance of it, so you do hear the traffic. And it comes down to the parkway a lot, so people are getting on and off doing day hikes. You won't find a lot of um, big hikers on the trail. Um, there are people that through hike it and even section hike it like me, but I've never met any through hikers in all the times I've been on the trail. So, but there are quite a few of them that complete it or at least attempt it. The Mountains to Sea Trail is the longest trail in the state of North Carolina at just over a thousand miles. It goes from Klingman's Dome to Jockey's Ridge. It goes from Klingman's Dome in the Great Smoky Mountains to Jockey's Ridge in the Outer Banks, depending on which way you travel. I think the mountain section is 330 miles or so. I'll correct that in the video the exact mileage but um yeah I've done well over 100 miles of it I don't remember exactly how many miles I've done of it but I've been hiking it for years in sections on day hikes mostly just started backpacking it last year well correction I've done the middle prong section if you want to consider that the mountains of sea backpacking but it was more off the mountains of sea um, on various spur trails in the past so but it is a very beautiful trail it's got a lot of points of interest you know you got Linville Gorge Middle Prong Wilderness uh, Shining, Shining Rock Wilderness uh, Water Rock Knob it's got a lot so it is very popular for tourists being that it's a short walk off the parkway. All right, I'm at 5,547 feet elevation. And you see the forest has changed to a pine forest. I was walking really fast, I've covered 3.4 miles in just over an hour. Just keeping a steady pace. This is what it looks like at Water Rock Knob, too. It's uh, mostly pines, high elevation. Almost there, too. Another little over half a mile. Check this out. I've just crested above 6,000 feet on the Mountains of Sea Trail, right next to Water Rock Knob. And I've got a view. It looks pretty, pretty expansive. Oh, that is beautiful. That bench up there caught me off guard. <laughs> I didn't expect to see that. Shows how close we are to Water Rock Knob. Man, that is gorgeous. Beautiful day, too. I could take a break right here, but uh, I think I want to go to Water Rock Knob and come back and take a break. Pyatt's Place. If that's how you pronounce that name. I think that would lead to the site of the old plane crash, maybe. That unmaintained trail there. It's a beautiful spot, but there are no campsites. I've seen none. It's all lush overgrowth. 
Um, trail is uh, well maintained, but there's no place to get off the trail and set up camp. No flat spots for tents. No place that's not in the lush overgrowth. It's just all overgrown. But still makes for a great day hike. Decided to join the crowds in Summit Water Rock Knob. It's over 6,000 feet. So it's a worthy summit. Only my third time there. Good little uphill. All right, I made it to the summit. There's a parking area down there. Just having a little break here. Got some electrolytes and Having some uh, trail bars. Maybe I'll have um, my bold energy chews now. <clears throat> I just had that. Something I've never tried before. Jones Bar PB and J. It's pretty good. A little, a little too sweet for my liking. I like sweet, but that was a little too sweet. But it's still good. And admiring the view, and then heading back. <laughs> 